everyone, welcome or welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you part two of our virtual Valentine's Day game ideas that you can play in Zoom. I'm going to be showing you six more virtual games. If you haven't seen part one yet, I will link it down in the description box below so you can watch it after this. So yeah, let's go straight to the video. Enjoy! Okay, our first game is Hearts and Cupid's Arrows Game. This is a great game for big groups. In this game, participants will need to print or draw two separate images, one image of an arrow and one image of a heart. The game is very simple. For each round, the host will say, let's spread some love in three, two, one. And then participants will pick between an arrow or a heart and raise it up to the camera for everyone to see. The host will count how many people raised arrows and how many raised hearts, and whoever is the majority will stay in the game. So let's say there are 10 participants. If 6 people raised hearts and 4 people raised arrows, the 6 people will stay in the game and the 4 will be out. The game will continue until only 2 people are left. Those players will be the winners. Our next game for this list is called On Your Hearts, Get Set, Go! In this game, we will be using Zoom's whiteboard feature. The goal of the game is for the participants to draw as much hearts as they can, one at a time using Zoom's whiteboard feature. When a participant is ready to draw, as the host, you will set the timer for 15 to 30 seconds. Within this short period of time, the participant must draw as much hearts as he or she can. Every participant will get their chance to do it. The person who draws the most hearts wins the game. On to our third game which is called the Item Matchmaker Game. This game will require a little movement around the house. As the host or game master, you will have to prepare random items or even just images of them. You will show these items or images to the participants one at a time. The participants will have to quickly find another item that would match or work perfectly with the item being shown by the host. For example, I'm the host and I decided to show an image of a pen. Participants can maybe get a notebook or paper. If I show them an image of a coffee pack, they can go ahead and get a coffee mug because how can you drink coffee without a coffee mug? If I show an image of french fries, participants can get maybe ketchup or salt. The first person to come back to the camera to show the item gets a point and the one who gets the most points wins. Game number four is True Love Counting Game. This is a super fun counting game wherein participants will take turns in counting as a group from 1 to 50. So assign who goes first, second, third, and so on. Everyone keeps on counting until all of you reach the number 50. First person says 1, next person says 2, next says 3, and so on. Seems easy, right? Well, as you know, this is for Valentine's Day, so of course, there is a Valentine's Day twist for this easy counting game. In this fast counting game, all numbers that start with the letter T will be replaced with the word true and all the numbers that begin with the letter S will be replaced with the word love. So person 1 will go 1, next person says true, replacing number 2 because it begins with a T. The third person will say true instead of 3, the next person will say 4, next one will say 5, next one will say love to replace number 6, and so on. So if we count to 10, it'll be like this. 1, true, true, 4, 5, love, love, 8, 9, true. It gets more challenging and more fun when you get to the 20s, 30s, and 40s because two numbers are considered as two words. So if one of them start with a T or an S, they will be replaced with the words true, love, or true love. So if the number is 24, the participant will say true 4. This is how it will sound like for numbers 18 to 30. 18, 19, true, true 1, 
true true, true true, true four, true five, true love, true love, true eight, true nine, true. The person who makes a mistake will be out and the rest will continue until only one winner is left. If you want to level up, you can also count to 100 instead of just 50. On to game number 5 which is called Blind Date Virtual Game. For this game, the host sends a private chat to one of the participants telling him or her that he or she will be it. Once the message has been sent, all participants will have to cover their eyes and the it will say Happy Valentine's Day in a different voice. The participants will then open their eyes and will tell the whole group their individual guesses. The host will let them know who it is and those who got it right will get a point. The game can continue for how long you want it. The person who gets the most points wins. The last game in this list is called Valentine Hunt. Nope, we're not hunting for a human valentine for this game, sorry. <laughs> In this game, the host will simply instruct everyone to quickly go around their house to look for items that start with each letter of the word Valentine. So items that start with the letters V, A, L, E, N, T, I, N, and E, which gives a total of 9 items. For example, I can get a vase for the letter V, an apple for letter A, lipstick for letter L, and so on. The first person to return to the meeting with all the items will yell, I found my valentine! Then all of you will check his or her items to make sure they're complete. If so, the person will be declared the winner. That's my six. Let me know in the comment section below which one you like best. Again, if you haven't seen part one yet, I will also link it down in the description box below. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Together, let's make happiness happen every day and live the lives we love. I'll see you on the next one.